Hey guys, it's Elisa from Inside the Photo Box and Photo Box Designs. I'm here today to show you a quick tutorial by request on how to add photos into a template that has already cut out boxes. I figured I would start out with the nine box, which is probably one of the most popular uh, white grid templates that you can purchase. But of course, this would apply to anything, any kind of Photoshop template that you um, may purchase or create your, yourself that has already cut out boxes to place photos under. This is to uh, basically show you that you don't have to just use box photography inside one of these templates. You can really use any photography or any kind of photo because it's Photoshop. And basically this template is really just a grid with cut out transparent squares. So anything that you place under this template will be seen through the squares. So if you take a look here, this nine box has been updated. <clears throat> this is in my store and it does come with clipping masks. You can use the clipping masks or you can choose to shut them off. That is really your preference. You may actually even want to move the clipping masks up above the template if you are going to um, use them. For now, I'm going to just keep them turned off so we don't get confused. And I'm going to show you how to insert photos into this template that are not white boxes. So I'm going to just open up. I'm going to go to File, Place Embedded, and I already have a bunch of edited photos from a photo shoot that I've done recently. I'm going to start there. So start off with this photo. I'm going to place. And as you can see, it has been placed above my template. So I'm just going to click the check mark, but we're going to work on that. So right now this, this is, you can't see the grid lines because it is literally on top of the grid. So if you look at the layers mask that I have, the layers panel that I have here on the right hand side, you'll see that the picture is right here. I'm going to make it red. So it stands out. This is the photo. This is my template. You need to move it. And all I'm doing is clicking on it and dragging it now below my template. So now that it's below my template, you can see that the grid lines are showing again and that um, obviously it's not sized correctly. So now here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to press Command T. I'm on a Mac. Command T, you're on a PC, you'll go to Control T. And I've opened up the transformation tool. I'm going to grab my photo. I think I'd like this one to be in the center. I'm going to grab my photo. I'm going to grab the edges and I'm going to resize the photo now. Now I have a choice. I can decide how much of this photo I want. I think I'd like this photo to show mostly just her face. It's a really a, um, a beautiful portrait and uh, I'd like her face to be showing. So I'm going to place it right here. I'm going to want to put, put it right into the center box. And I'm going to press the check box. Now what I'm going to do is, and of course there's a thousand different ways to do the same thing in Photoshop and you may have a better method. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my rectangular marquee tool and I'm going to just create a square. I am still on that same picture that I've imported, okay? I don't want to be on anything else. So I want to, I'm on this photo. I'm going to go to, um, a mask and I'm going to add a layer mask and voila now my layer mask is a is has now covered the rest of this photo and now it is inside the grid let's try that again we're going to go to place embedded and I'm going to choose this one now you'll see that it has been inserted under the grid because I actually started out under the grid. I'm going to, it already comes with the transformation tool open. So I'm just going to resize it a little bit. I don't think I would like it to go here. Press. I can also, if you happen to be working with a template that let's say has um, different shapes or maybe you want to put your picture on an angle, you can also move your picture, turn it just by using this transformation tool. Turn it and move it around and press the check mark. 
But, oh look, see I missed a little spot right there. So what I'm gonna do now is, I'm still working, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make this yellow so that you know I'm working with this yellow one. I'm going to press again the Command T tool to open up that transformation tool and to resize it and to, uh, if I want it to be straight, maybe I want it to be a little bit smaller. Now I'm working in Photoshop CC. Photoshop CC, uh, the new version, 2020. You do not have to hold the shift key down normally if you're working with anything other than the version 2020, the newest version. If you wanted to resize something by dragging in your transformation tool, but you don't want to change the aspect ratio, you don't want it to become a square when it's rectangular or a rectangle when it's a square, you would have had to have hold down the shift key. But that is all changed now in Photoshop CC. Uh, 2020 you do not have to do that anymore so I'm not holding my shift key down but if you are working with a version that is older you would have to do that to retain the aspect ratio of your photo and I'm going to place it and check mark and there you go and again I'm going to take my rectangular marquee tool I'm just gonna create a square I'm going to Click on my mask and make a mask around it and there you go. Now I've blocked off the entire background and I have two photos inserted. So just to show you the difference between working with uh, just the grid and working with clipping masks, I'm going to turn on my clipping masks. I'm actually going to move them back under my photos. And um, let's say I would like to do the same thing with the clipping masks. So now my clipping masks are under the grid. That's why you, I'm opening up the clipping masks. They're all labeled top left, top mid, top right. So you can see that when they were above the grid, they're really just black boxes. They've now covered the photos that I have just inserted. I want my clipping masks to be under, so my grid is still there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my clipping masks and I'm going to place another photo to the top right, which would be this one. Now, if it wasn't labeled for you, all you need to do is go to the uh, Move tool and then click on the box that you'd want to work with. So, and that would bring you right to the correct layer. So now I'm on this correct layer, I'm the top right layer. I'm gonna just make that green so it stands out. I'm going to go and do the same thing. I'm gonna say File, Place Embedded, and let's see. Let's place this photo in. Place embedded. So now you'll see that the photo is large, just like last time. I'm going to have to do the same thing with my transformation tool. Again, I can use this tool to rotate it if I want to. So if you needed to have, if you're on a template that has um, different shapes, you can rotate. I'm gonna place it here. I like that spot right there. It's under the grid, so you can still see the bottom. And now, this photo, I'm gonna make her green also. So you can see I'm working with this clipping mask. Now I could do the same thing, exactly what I did before. I could take my rectangular marquee and I could just make a square, put a square over it and then make a mask. But this time we're working with clipping masks. So I already have this photo on top of the clipping mask that I want to clip it to. And now I'm going to just right click on the photo, not on the clipping mask, but on the actual image. I'm going to set, it says create clipping mask, and now I have clipped it, this photo, to the top right clipping mask. So you really have a lot of options. You can do it either way. That's all. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great day.